So after a bit of a rage, I decided to type out this reply just to kind of ease myself because the probability of EA doing something about this is so little that it's just, it's pretty much just about easing my pain. I first encountered the being forced to use the EA app instead of the already bad Origin app in December. I could manage to get a workaround by installing the EA app, which automatically uninstalls the Origin app, uh, and then reinstalling the Origin app while leaving the EA app on my PC. So I guess Origin just runs a background check, or used to run a background check, uh, on your PC, whether you have EA app installed. However, today, despite having EA app installed ever since then, the thingy which forces me to use the EA app has popped up again. Uh, and I've tried, already tried, uh, updating EA app to the latest version, because maybe it just wants that. Nope, I've updated it to the latest version, reinstalled Origin, and uh, this thingy still pops up. And you cannot navigate anything in Origin when this is on here. And when you click on this, the origin tray icon, which I usually uh, use to, I usually use it to launch games. Your games do not show up, uh, show up here, so you cannot just get around this banner thingy. Even if you would be fine with not being able to change any settings in the app, I've tried reinstalling Origin with enabling automatic updates with them disabled. Doesn't matter. The EA app has a ton of problems. Last time I used it, you couldn't even uh, redeem product codes. So if you bought a game and you have a product code, well then, F you. Well, thankfully, you can just go on EA's website and redeem your game keys there, but it's, it's still shameful to force a software, a piece of software on your users, which has, like, it's a game launcher. One of the most basic functionalities is being able to redeem product keys and whatever. You can work around that and you can work around a lot of problems. You can, like, kind of ignore not being able to turn off notifications because you cannot. Uh, origin was already bad, but uh, after years of e uh, years and years of being in service, it finally got to a point where it was passable. I think, if I recall correctly, it still has the bug, and I'm talking about Origin, um, that you have to disable the in-game overlay both, uh, like, uh, worldwide, just like it is in here, and uh, on a per-app basis, you have to right-click on your uh, games in Origin and disable the in-game overlay there as well, because unless you disable it in both places, it's gonna be enabled. However, in EA app, you don't have this problem. You don't even have the right-click on the game to pull up a menu. You have to click on it, then click on Manage, View Properties, and even here, there's no toggle for uh, toggling the in-game overlay on a per-app basis which is shitty, but I don't care since I don't use it anyway, I just turn it off globally, and here the global turn off works. So yay, that's a win for the EA app. And by the way, I do realize that the EA app looks a lot better. Yeah, it does. But does that really matter in terms of functionality? No, it doesn't. Redeem code. Mm -hmm. Same as in December, you click on it, a progress thingy appears, and then you cannot do anything. Uh, everything's grayed out. Uh, well, you can enter the settings and whatnot, but you cannot click anywhere uh, besides this top area, this, this top bar. 
because you get no reaction from the UI. However, uh, I could restart EA app and whatever now, but uh, the last thing I'm gonna show you uh, before I end this video is that for some reason I installed multiple versions of GeForce Experience already, older versions. I'm currently running in an older version because it, 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 it just functions better than the latest ones. Uh, but both on the latest and on the older versions, for some reason, EA app is seen by Shadowplay as a game, which means that if you have a uh, replay buffer turned on, so background recording on Shadowplay, each time you launch EA app and then launch your game of choice, for, for me it's Battlefield games, the recording is going to be stuck to the EA app. So when you press save, um, you're gonna get a video, uh, in my case a 20 minute video. Oh, it, it finally did something about the redeem code thingy. <laughs> Lol. Uh, so now I can interact with the UI. Great. So, uh, instead of getting a 20 minute, in my case, uh, video from your game you played, uh, you'll get a 20 minute view of this awful piece of software you're being forced to use instead of another awful piece of software that, at least with Origin, I've already and many of us have already figured out the quirks and workarounds, but here, in some cases, like in this shadow play thingy and the redeem code thingy, there do not seem to, I mean, you can redeem codes uh, online, but with the shadow play thing, there seems to be no workaround. Uh, and, and even having to rely on workarounds is already sad, but I'm accepting sadness when it comes to EA. I know I could just record my whole desktop as I've laid out here in this post, just read it. Uh, and excuse my temperament, you're gonna be in a similar mood probably when you're going to be eventually force, forced uh, to update to the EA app, because I know many people are not yet. Uh, my friend here in, in my dorm, in my college dorm, can still run Origin without any problems. No notification for him has popped up yet. So they're doing it in seemingly random batches to unfortunate people, unfortunate u users of their software. And I'm one of them. <laughs> anyway, uh, at this point, I'm not expecting EA to do anything about it, and I'm not gonna record my whole screen because that's a whole another can of worms. Uh, Shadow play recordings when you record your whole screen uh, get corrupted a lot more often. I have no faith in EA, so I'm asking you guys: Is there a way to block this pop-up from popping up, or? just after it popped up to disable it. I've already looked at Origins files, but I'm, I'm not a software developer. I'm sure this is... Maybe I can just delete something from Origins files, or, I don't know, change some code, modify the installer, the exe before installing, whatever. Is there... My question is, is there something I can do about this? Is there some way I can make this thing not pop up? Because Origin is still perfectly functional, and my guess is that they're gonna keep it this way until this forced thingy is rolled out to everyone. Or if the banner forcing me to install the EA app cannot be disabled in any way in Origin, then is there a way to make Origin not show itself as a game to shadow play? Because that's my biggest problem with it. If you share anything, any of my sentiments, please leave it in the comment section. I want to read it, I'm going to read everything. And if, if you have any questions, I can reply. But if you're in the same boat, I will probably not be able to help you. In case I find a solution, I will put a comment below this video and pin it. But anyway, that wraps it up. My thoughts were more collected while writing this post albeit I was more angry. Please read it, and uh, just, if you have the option, burn EA.
like physically burn them down <laughs> thank you for watching